the biggest jigsaw puzzle in the world. Hungry jaws that menace humanity, termites teeth, a magnified model at the center for overseas pest research. At Copra, an unceasing battle is being waged against those teeming millions who, if uncontrolled, could threaten our very existence. The pests are legion. Even the humble snail is a formidable enemy. Copra's object is to eliminate the pest without harming the useful creatures which share its environment. And that calls for tireless and patient experiments. Poison is put into a tank, not to kill the fish, but the parasites that threaten their health or take their food. Care must be taken that the cure doesn't itself become a pest. An innocent looking caterpillar, which eventually becomes the army worm and the scourge of Nigerian farmers, must be halted in its march of destruction if West African agriculture is to survive. Names we may think are quaint, the crazy ant of the Seychelles, the long-eared jackrabbit, the tsetse fly, the laughing dove of Botswana. But their effect is deadly, like man's oldest enemy, the locust. He looks a harmless little character, like a friendly Jiminy Cricket, but he brings more starvation and sorrow in his wake than perhaps any other species. Man continues to throw the technological book at him to find his breeding grounds and stop him in his destructive tracks. Infrared photography, radar, aircraft sprays, computers, even earth revolving satellites that can sense and locate the breeding areas. But at the moment, the locust is still winning. Some of Copra's experiments may seem strange, even pointless, but their task is a vitally important one. In many cases, a race against time if man is to survive against his smallest but most vicious predators. Here's a predator we're trying to preserve. Her name's Siak, and she was born recently at Whipsy.